Good morning, everybody. It is flurrying. Not much to really write home about on this one. No accumulation. I didn't think there would be. So, I'll be showing out 34. It's probably like one or two degrees Celsius. Alrighty, guys, good morning. Alright, we'll show it with this. I figured the iPhone did okay last night. But uh, right now we have uh, wind and flurries. I'm not, I can't really say this is snow. This is kind of pathetic, really. But uh, nonetheless, we do have white stuff falling, finally. Alrighty. Uh, try to turn around here a little bit. I'm trying to get in the car. I should get out a couple minutes early. I don't know why, because the associate that comes in today is usually like either right on time or several minutes. All right, power you off and uh, set you up in the car. All right, well, temperatures actually dropped since earlier this morning when I got up, which apparently I changed my alarms, which is a good thing because <laughs> we had gotten, like I said, we went to McDonald's yesterday and I got myself a unsweetened and like the very top of it sweet tea and I downed that right before dinner I couldn't fall asleep to save my life last night not to mention too all in Lake throat sinuses have been horrible uh, it's just a, a miserable night uh, actually surprisingly a peach jolly rancher actually soothed my throat for a while there Oh, the road crews are actually out. How about that? It's just, it's it's windy and flurries flying across. I can't really say it's snowing, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, temperatures dropped down to 32 and zero, so. Oh, man. I did bring a pot of coffee with me because of my throat. Sinuses are just, oh, draining something fierce. Not, not a good time here. Hold on a second. Oh, this fucking thing unscrewing. Alright. I don't know. You guys tell me. I feel like it's more of a flurry. I mean, obviously at motion it looks worse. Than uh, just standing still. Makes it kind of look like it's a blizzard, but it's really not. So. Huh. Got snow. Finally. Waited until November 22nd. Oh, man. I hate getting sick. Already hitting the Zycam and the, all the different things I have. I have cough drops with me. Citrus drops, actually. Oh, that freaking tooth is cutting my tongue. Oh, it's a fun time. Good news is... Whoa, almost missed that turn. Shit. That would have been bad. Good news is the second filter I ordered comes today. Two of the three batteries come today. So I'll be able to get them on the charger and depending on the weather here, might get to play with the filter a little bit. So it is an ND4 to 64 CPL. So I got circular polarization for the water glare and I have ND4 to 64, which this felt like, I said to Mike, I said, isn't two almost worthless? He goes, yep. <laughs> That's what I went with. All right, I'm just going to let this thing film the snow falling since don't know when we'll see it again. Yeah, they, they've cindered and everything. I mean, the temperature's down so low, I think freezing is a bigger problem than accumulation. But it was supposed to have started raining last yesterday, like I said, 4 o'clock. It was midnight, and it just started maybe making the sidewalk damp. I guess you would consider this blustery. <laughs> the way the snow is like going one way and then all of a sudden reverses direction. <laughs> Interesting. 
and see what this does for business today. This might keep people at home. Alrighty, basically we've converted over back to rain now, but I don't know how long this is supposed to last. Look at the temperature, almost 40 out. Whew. I can't believe I actually survived that shift. I'm telling you, that was, uh, that was tedious. Alright, grabbed us another salad for tonight's dinner some mushrooms and I saw a dark chocolate peppermint candy bar the other night. I'm like, screw it, I'm getting it. I'm treating myself, I don't feel good. I am running down to the, uh, I don't even know if it's, what it is anymore. I don't think it's an actual uh, state store because they're open Sundays. But they got my peach brandy. I am gonna go get my peach brandy. I am making myself a hot toddy, tea with peach brandy in it, and then I am going to put my ass to bed for a while. That is my goal. So, it's gonna be a car vlog today. A rainy, cold car vlog. <laughs> oh, it is miserable out. Oh man, that was a nasty walk. It's, it's actually almost like a mix right now. I feel like, I feel like it's trying to be, uh, which way do I want to go? Part of me is saying just go back, go up the way I was going and hit the highway that way, but I got a light right here. All right. Whew. $21 and I got my coughs, cough syrup. <laughs> if this turns into me coughing, last one did not. Um, the peach brandy is better cough syrup than actual cough syrup. So, oh, and then it'll take me probably nine months to a year to drink, maybe longer. 
every once in a while I might give myself, especially in the winter time. This is the time of year I, I like that. Summertime when it's hot, ice cold beer, a very a tiny little splash of brandy, and I'll be just ready to go to bed. I, I'm I'm a very tired when it comes to alcohol, so a lot of people out here in this weather that are not using their lights today too. One guy went flying by me and then got off the ramp and then he pulled off the road completely. I don't know what was going on there, but maybe they're lost. He's going too fast and passionate. Oh, I'm so tired. I can't wait to hot drink in my on my throat and then my pillow. Yeah, so much for me getting rest. Okay, so I get home, check the mailbox. Could have swore it said one of my packages was left in the mailbox. Nothing in there except for some mail. Get to the front door. There's three boxes. Big boxes for the little itty bitty batteries. So I got all three batteries. The filter's missing. Show's delivered, but is missing. I'm going to check with maintenance and see if they don't have a master key for the mailboxes. If not, I'm going to have to rely on someone to hopefully... Deliver it to me. The only bar problem is 1120 has no tenant, so if they put it in that mailbox, no one's ever going to check it. And the guy next, the guy upstairs above that, he didn't come home until like 9 o'clock at night. I'm so pissed right now. How hard is it to put the right thing in the right goddamn mailbox? <sighs> Frustrating. No point in checking it again. Yeah, the batteries was the least of my concern. That filter was utmost for tomorrow, and I don't have it. All right, well, unfortunately, the office, or they don't have a master key to the mailboxes. I figured if someone didn't turn their key in, they would have backup keys or something. But I think due to federal law with the post office, that would be an absolute no-no. So, fortunately, the only one that can open up the whole damn thing on the backside here is the mailman. Which I'd like to kick him in the shins right now. So, <sighs> all right, well, I guess I just have to wait for people to come home and go check their mail, and hopefully uh, somebody will drop it off to me today or even tomorrow. But uh, if not, I guess we're not using it. And uh, I don't know how I go about, uh, because on Amazon, because it shows delivered and scanned, and with the post office, because it shows scanned, there's no way to say I don't have my package like you can with normal mail because it doesn't scan. So I might have to go to the post office and complain. Good evening, everybody. Getting little man out for a drizzly walk because he hasn't really been outside too much today because he doesn't like this weather. <laughs> Can't say I might, I'm liking it much myself right now, especially not feeling well. Although I am, I don't know, I can't fall asleep. This is the weirdest thing, is I laid down this afternoon, I felt so drained and so tired, could not fall asleep at all. So I'm hoping I can sleep tonight. I had a cup of tea, decaf tea with some brandy in it, and I'm still not feeling tired. I think my anger about this whole post office thing has got me so far, no one has dropped it off in front of the house. I really wish someone would, because... And Mike wants to change venues tomorrow, so I don't know where we're going. Where are you, little man? Oh, now that's better. I just couldn't see where I was going anymore. Of course, I don't have a bag. Son of a... I was going to grab one, but then another... That one tenant that lets his dog just run out. I'm going to have to go grab home and grab a bag. Mm -hmm.